All right, so I've got a bit of announcement to make. Um, three years ago, I applied for a iconic rally called the Shitbox Rally, and I've been on a waiting list for, for those three years, and finally, um, it came through, and uh, we've been announced that we've got a team in the Shitbox Rally for 2019, which is awesome. Uh, it's the 10th anniversary for the Shitbox Rally, so it's quite an iconic year to do it in. Um, so it's basically, I don't know if you know about the Shitbox Rally, but it's a, a charity rally for the Cancer Council, and it's uh, one of the biggest um, fundraisers for cancer in Australia. I think they've raised about $40 million in the last 10 years that it's been going. And uh, so, yeah, this year it's going from Perth to Sydney, right through the centre of Australia. So it's, it's a pretty cool race. Uh, it's not a race, it's a rally. Um, and it's five and a half thousand kilometres. So the announcement being that um, we're doing it, and I'm doing it with my girlfriend, Maddie, and uh, we've got well, we've had about four months to find a car, but I've been struggling to find one because I want to do it in a uh, iconic car with such a iconic race rally. I think you can only do it in one car and that's got to be a Ute. Um, and I'm a bit of a Holden fan, so it's got to be a Holden Ute. So I've been looking around and uh, there's a couple of barriers to entry for this, for this rally, which make it really hard. And one of them is that you've only got a budget of $1,000 uh, in total to find the car in, uh, that you have to do it in. Um, and as you know, that's not much with Rego and Roadweather these days. It doesn't leave you much cream on the top to find a, a decent vehicle that could potentially do that kind of distance. So I'm putting the call out on this YouTube channel because, uh, well, I've tried on Facebook and I've tried it on some other social media platforms and I've been looking at here and around, but can't really find a good solid ute to do it in. And uh, as I said, being a Holden, I'd like to try and do it in a Holden. Um, so yeah, if anyone's got or knows of anyone out there that's got a Holden Ute, um, could be any any year. I'm not too not too. Uh, I don't care too much on exactly what it needs to be, but uh, you know, it could be an old Kingswood. But I know they're becoming quite sought after these days. So um, it could be VYU, VX, VU, VZ, whatever. It could be VS, VR. If anyone knows of anything that um, is out there, drop me a line and. Uh, yeah, we'll buy it for a thousand dollars, or if if someone would like to donate it for less, then we can give us a bit of budget to um to do it up and get it on the road. So so yeah, our team's called the Welcome Strangers, and we call, we called it that because we're in Central Victoria and sort of Gold Rush area. Welcome Stranger was the uh, world's biggest nugget found in this area, so uh, that's the team name. Um, and uh, we'll probably do the I'm going to do a series of videos doing this ute up. Um, it's not going to be done up to the extent of you know. A show car and I think it's literally just going to be a rally car we'll probably lift it up a little bit with suspension and put stickers all over it's going to be rough and ready it's called the shitbox rally for a reason so it's going to be a rough car but it just needs to make it to Sydney across Australia so that's the gist of it um, I'll put a link in the description for anyone that likes to donate um, we have to raise five and a half thousand dollars in order to then get into the to the rally to be accepted into the rally currently we're sitting at around about two thousand dollars so we've got a fair way to go. The, the race is in May. Um, so we've got a fair bit of work to do in order to get uh, the car and the funding into the team and then ship it all the way over to WA to start the rally. So there's uh, a couple of ways you can uh, donate to uh, the Shipbox Rally, especially specifically our team, the uh, Welcome Strangers. And um, that is in the link below and it takes you to a specific funding page that's uh, called We Give, which is actually managed by the Cancer Council. So it goes directly to the Cancer Council and, and not held in any other escrow account or anything. So you know your money's going to the right hands. Uh, so you can do donate directly uh, <coughs> as an anonymous donation. We will we'll see you, your name as the, uh, the donator. Or you can, if you've got a business and you would like to promote your business as part of the donation, you can actually be a corporate sponsor for the vehicle. Uh, it's a minimum of $100 to actually become a corporate sponsor, but how much you put in is up to you above that limit. So uh, what we'll do is uh, if you decide to do a corporate sponsorship, let us know where you want the logo and how much you want to do. And depending on how much you will uh, donate will depend on how big your logo is and position on the car. That's something I'll probably do in a future episode. Once we get the car, I will uh, splice up and do a diagram as to what uh, sponsorship uh, is placed and how much that sponsorship will be. Say, so if you're 
on the door or the, or the roof or part of the main bonnet, your sponsorship will be greater than say if you're a small sticker down in the fuel cap, etc. So the link will be also down below for the co corporate sponsor. Uh, once you do that, then get in touch with me directly through that, uh, that link and we can arrange um, the logo printing, etc. down the track closer to the actual event. Um, another thing I haven't mentioned is the you know, effect of cancer and to those who are close around you with family and friends. And personally, I, you know, in my earlier years of life, I've avoided, thank God, having anyone that's close to me uh, get affected by cancer. But in the last few years, quite a few people have actually been uh, affected by cancer. And uh, one of my dear mates and close mates, Matt, um, although it's not... Uh, to that stage yet he's uh he's been fighting something as well which is um you know makes this cause all the uh, more worthwhile doing um and also my sister's friend adam and he's also a work colleague um, of mine and um and you know also a mate that we used to ride mountain bikes with he's uh, currently fighting his battle as well so you know good luck adam with with your fight and um know that you know this race is also for you in a way um, and also my auntie who um, recently passed away, Di, um, which was very sad. And, and uh, she, she fought for four years against cancer and um, unfortunately didn't win. And, you know, it's very sad to see these people uh, to, you know, be affected and, and, and also affect all your family as well. Um, and, uh, and also Maddie's dad, who's been struck down with uh, cancer before and, and fortunately won it. And, um, you know, still kicking along. So uh, good, on you, good on you, Chris. Um, yeah, so anyway, I just wanted to mention those people because I think it's important to give an understanding as to why we're doing it. You know, it's, okay, it's going to be great to cross Australia and that's one part of the journey and it'll be a life-changing experience for us. But at the end of the day, it's to raise money for cancer and, you know, bloody hell, I hope they come up with a cure or a, a way of fighting it that's going to be a lot more efficient than it currently is because I think... Uh, it's been going on long enough and it's time in this day and age that we uh, got to the bottom of it. Okay, so yeah, once we've got the vehicle and we do the five and a half thousand Ks and we end in Sydney, there's gonna be a auction held by Shitbox, uh, the Shitbox fundraising guys. And so the vehicle that we're gonna um, forget for a thousand dollars is actually auctioned off. So we don't get to keep this vehicle at all. It's auctioned off and then all the proceeds from that auction go to the Cancer Council as well. So, you know, being a ute, no doubt it's gonna, attract attention and it's probably going to fetch uh, a decent little price at auction at the end anyway. So that's going to, you know, it, you're not just giving a, uh, a vehicle away for nothing. You're actually going to be donating it to a good cause. So um, yeah, that's the most important part. Okay. So that's it. That's the announcement I was uh, wanting to make to you all. Um, it's a big deal for us. It's going to be a massive, most likely a life-changing event to, to do the, the trip. There's going to be ups and downs, no doubt, maybe breakdowns. I'd like to try to avoid it if we can, but that's uh, all part of it. So, um, yeah, all the information below, please, if you, uh, if you would like to donate, it's going to really help us get to our target of 5,500. The vehicle um, is a major thing as well. So if you know of anyone's out there, please drop us a line. And uh, the sooner, the better for, uh, for getting this vehicle so we can get started on the work and uh, get cracking on it. And yeah, if you'd like to get involved in any way, just, just drop me a line. I'm, I'm sure we can work something out. So um, thanks again, and I'll see you on the next episode.